What's up, YouTube? Bubbles and Bowl Cards back with another video. Hope everybody has had a great week. We have hit Friday, December 16th. Um, this was shared with me on Facebook Messenger uh, by my good pal, JJ. And this isn't normally something that I would do a video on, except I thought it was actually pretty interesting um as you know the video that's kind of you know went pretty viral and been the topic of conversation on several different occasions now with uh ty over at bench clear and then you know mike from bench clear speaking about it as well um i actually sent this to mike last night and uh kind of told him you know very oddly enough this is pretty similar to uh, what sounds like happened to Ty, and it's very concerning. Now, you know, the initial thoughts were, in Ty's scenario, mistakes happen. Um, all of the companies make mistakes, mistakes happen. You know, there was a lot of emphasis on the NDA agreement, but, you know, I think the thing that I questioned more was how did Ty send a Trey Lance of you know, select tie-dye and get back, I believe if I'm remembering right, an optic shock or whatever it was, but still a Trey Lance card. Like, that was very interesting. Um, so this here was shared and I, I blocked out uh, information because I don't know if this gentleman had to sign an NDA or anything. I didn't want his name publicly out there or what group or whatever and people go track it down get him in trouble or anything like that i also blocked out you know some of the curse words he's obviously upset and i blocked out the cert number uh just for his privacy sake um but anyway this was a post on in a group and it says i'm ready to talk about my recent psa experience uh, these mother effers lost a 2004 second year LeBron James out of 199. Uh, you can see the card here is a Topps Finest Refractor, uh, second year LeBron James. Um, and tried to send him a 2020 Select LeBron, which is this card here. It is a silver. Um, and thought it would be cool. Didn't say blank, just thought they would slide that in. Not even sure how that happens or if they think I'm a dummy. Uh, we sent the card part of a bulk order. After receiving the grades via their platform, we noticed the card was what we thought mislabeled as a 2020 Select LeBron James Silver. When we got the shipment, there was indeed no mislabeled card, but a completely different card that wasn't even ours. After contacting them, uh, I, I, I don't know if he meant the, the group submitter or PSA themselves. Uh, I'm going to assume PSA by the remainder of the conversation. Um, but it says, after contacting them, they reviewed their footage. Turns out we, in fact, sent the correct card, like I know we did. But they seem to have misplaced it, or it was stolen, or they just put it in the wrong order. The solution... They still have not found the card after weeks. They are sending us the declared value of the card for $4.99, which is interesting because I had actually asked Mike in Ty's scenario, why wasn't he just credited the uh, declared value? Why did it start out at one price and then Ty questioned that price and it went to another price? Um, in this case, it sounds like they went straight to declared value. Um, but anyway... Uh, they're sending us the declared value of the card, waiving the grading fee of the particular card. They're not very satisfied with the outcome. Uh, he, he says, you know, yeah, we got $4.99, but that will not go up in value uh, like the card will, assuming, you know, obviously assuming that this card will increase in value. It is a second year LeBron refractor numbered out of $199, but, you know, that's all assumptions. 
Um, he said, so I guess we are SOL. PSA said they would contact us if they found the card. Uh, they won't. They're done looking now that we signed terms. So that's one reason why I blocked all this out because it's, I, I didn't want to get this gentleman in trouble. Um, but it says they signed terms. So they were given a contract or what have you. Sounds like it as well. And, uh, and it says, and if we do, we will have, or if they do, we will have to give them the money back. Uh, customer service rating zero out of 10. Honestly expect more than declared value. They lost the card. They should make it right. And some, we had this card for 10 to 15 years and now it's gone on some dumb crap. So, this is the reason I'm sharing this. Um, it's very odd that this is now two occasions, very recent occasions within you know, a short period of time of each other that people are coming out saying they sent PSA one card and PSA is not saying anything back. They're getting a completely different card. But what's really interesting is it's the same player. Does PSA just have random cards sitting there to where if a card gets misplaced, oh, they can grab one of LeBron or Luka or Giannis or Steph Curry or, you know, uh, Draymond Green or, you know, uh, whoever? Like, do they just have random cards sitting there? Is there that much ultra modern out there that they just think, oh, well, we can replace it. If something happens, they won't say anything because this is strange. Like, I again, I know there's been where orders got sent to the wrong people and, you know, one package might have got sent to one person and, you know, their package got sent to somebody else and the orders just got swapped. You know, that's that's a mistake that could easily be understandable. Labels just got placed on wrong boxes you know, you would think in a company like this that they're more professionally ran than that, but things happen, so that I could understand. This has been two occasions now where literally the cards went gone, but they were replaced with cards of the same player. And unfortunately, uh, I don't know who the bulk submitter was, but, you know, this also puts a bulk submitter, you know, in a bad spot. I mean... The, the person sent him a particular card and next thing you know, the guy's getting back a different card. And, you know, it, one thing to always make sure, guys, I, I don't care who you're using, if you're doing it yourself, if you're using a bulk submitter, who, how, who you trust, whatever, take pictures or at least like have a list, you know, of something um, to prove what you're sending. One reason that we do all of the video, both outgoing and incoming, is so we can show what, you know, what we're sending out for who and then what came back. You know, obviously there's scans and all that stuff. That's great after the cards are graded. But, you know, there's several things that can happen. There's the mail. You know, we, we've heard all of the horror stories with mail. But then, you know, in a scenario like this, if this guy didn't have photos or whatever... You know, it's his word versus whoever else's. So I always encourage folks, you know, even though we do this, I always encourage folks, make sure you have not only just a list, but if you can, take photos. You know, they don't have to be like high definition or nothing like that. Just lay your cards out, take a picture of them, just so you can recognize what you sent. If they're serial number, take take pictures of the serial numbers. That way, you know, and put them on your lists. That way, if these cards pop up elsewhere, if they go missing, air quotes, uh, and they pop up elsewhere, you know it was your card. But moral to the story right now, I don't know if this is a scenario, um, if there's an individual with sticky fingers, if there's some stuff happening. I've heard people saying that they're shipping their cards to Jersey, and the cards are shipping back to them, or sorry, they're shipping their cards to California, but PSA is shipping their cards back to them from Jersey. Is this something where maybe in transit, the new location, like there's obviously something going on. And this is just too coincidental, too close together where two cards have gone missing. There's no explanation for it, but they were replaced with the same identical player. So um, anyway, this is more, you know, just sharing it. 
but also just to you know keep a keep a reminder out there to you guys again do take the extra few minutes just to protect yourself uh record it you know record your cards take a photo whatever you got to do um make sure you have a list and everything just so it's documented of what you're sending to who when all of that stuff um, just in case anything like this happens so that's all i got for you guys hope you have a wonderful friday evening as always stay safe stay healthy and until the next video i'm out